do a live video every single weekday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Now, we're doing it at 3 o'clock today because the new minivan was just introduced, the Life Utility Vehicle. So this is how this is going to work. If you're not watching live with us, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the reveal video. We're going to link that in the description below this video so you can watch that. And I'm going to go through what I know of the vehicle, what intrigues me, things I want to find out. And if you have questions about this vehicle, you can join the live chat and you can talk to us about what your questions are. So if I don't know, then I know what to ask and what to find out. We have these vehicles coming to us in March. Uh, so it's not far away now. We got several on order, so we will be seeing them. And nobody's going to cover this uh, vehicle better than us. So I'm hoping I can earn your subscription. Uh, in the meantime, because we're live, I need about 30 seconds here to pull up the live chat on my computer here. So if you're not live with us, skip ahead to, let's call it the two-minute mark of the video. And uh, we will get going with the content right there. So bear with me for one second as I refresh my page here. I'm just going to join our live chat myself. And there we go. Okay, I'm probably going to have to watch an ad. Nope, yep, I have to watch an ad for a second first. All right, some people are here. That's awesome. Okay, so let me just skip in the ad. Where are we on the time frame, guys? You guys, actually, I don't even know if we're at the two-minute mark. So, all right, where are we? You know what? I'm not sure where we are in the two-minute, one-minute mark, so let's just get going with it. Kia did the right thing with the LUV, says Albert. Yeah, we got some people here. All right, so I can see myself in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through this live video. Now, it's about 11 and a half minutes long. I'm already a minute into it right here. Uh, we're going to pause it at a few points. We're going to talk about things we see. I also have the specs here. Uh, this was just updated minutes ago, like literally minutes ago. I have pricing here, so we'll talk about pricing in this video as well. Actually, let's just tell you where it starts at. Um, hold on. Bear with me. Like I said, just hot off the press here. Pricing starts at $34,495. The next trim level is uh, the LX Plus would be $37,995. Then goes $41,995 for the EX. EX Plus is $45,295. And the SX is $48,295. And that is everything. So we've got a lot to talk about, a lot of trim lines. But you guys don't want to hear me talk. You guys want to see what's here. So again, this video and Kia's auto show experience, uh, as soon as I've done this video, give me about 10, 15 minutes and I'm gonna link it all in the description below this video. So if you're not watching live for us, it's all right there for you. If you're watching live, then go ahead, join our live chat and uh, do me a favor guys, hit the like button for me. I really could use a few likes. We're gonna try to get to, let's say 50, 60 likes in the next 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, so let's go through. All right, let me just get my computer. This is a little tricky because I'm using one computer to do a few things. I'd like to use two computers. All right, so we're going to watch some of this stuff here. So, um, oh, maybe we are, maybe we're not. There we go. So we're playing cool graphics, really cool SUV-like design. Uh, this is probably maybe even filmed in Canada. It's got the snow in the area. We'll talk about the interior, the Martian brown leather. So this is, uh, oh, that's his title. Oh, I forgot his title. Uh, we'll talk about who he is. He's the head guy at Kia right now. Uh, he does his introduction, and he's talking right here. So we're all, they're talking about a life utility vehicle. The One of the things that I read which was kind of interesting. Let me see if I can pause this by just clicking. No, I got to go right to the pause. One of the things that I read was that um, one of the designers of this, or the key designer of this vehicle was not your typical minivan designer. He was someone who didn't have a family yet. Uh, I think he was newly engaged or newly married. Either way, I'm going to look into that a little bit more. I'll have better stories on that. But it was designed very much as an active lifestyle vehicle more than a, you know, soccer mom traditional type thing. So they were thinking a little bit outside the box and it's going to suit very well for families but it also appeals to um, to someone like me who has never wanted a minivan. So we're going to talk about that, what we see, what we like. Uh, we're going to skip through some of this stuff. This is just some of the scenery. And again, we're going to skip through some of the talking here. And if I can find my cursor, we will get to the key. Celto's had a huge year. That was a cool thing. Uh, we had eight record sales months in 2020, best month in Canadian history. That was last year. So Kia is growing uh, very fast, very fast growing brand. Telluride, Sorrento. So again, these are some of the influences on the design. And we're going to skip right through until we start seeing some interesting things. At, at that point, we will stop and we will be taking questions throughout here. So bear my poor uh, videography here of looking at my bald spots. But uh, we're going to just get to the content where some of the things that I want to see here. Okay, let's just skip ahead. Uh, where are we? Let's skip ahead. That's a Martian brown leather, they're calling it. So tell me what you think about that. Some of the rear seats, some of the luxury, some of the design. There are a couple features here I want to show you, and uh, we're going to do that when Michael Kopke comes on. He is the next one. He's the marketing guy, and I made a bunch of notes on this video. So um, let's just talk overall design first here. 
First vehicle with the new Kia logo, which is pretty exciting. Wireless Android Auto on a 12-inch screen. Yeah, that's coming. It's good as Kia sticking to black seating. That's what Albert says. Um, so somebody says they don't like it. That's cool. Kia USA is calling it. Yeah, Kia USA is calling it the MPV. Kia Canada is calling it the life utility vehicle. You know, we're not allowed to say minivan anymore, I think. I think as long as it's a cool minivan, people are totally cool with it. Um, and I think it's a pretty cool looking minivan. So we've got some cool looking grill across the front. And again, that new logo, it's the first vehicle with the new logo. That'll be standard in both the uh, United States and Canada, which is exciting. Bear with me, guys. I saw this video once and then decided to prep for this video. We had planned to go live at three o'clock, but I just don't know exactly where everything is. So there's Michael Kopke. He's the director of marketing. We did a video with him a while ago uh, in the EV, we did in my EV. So again, a lot of this looks like it was filmed in Canada. So this looks like a pre-production Canadian vehicle. Aerodynamics is one thing I want to talk about that they talked about is a lot of the whole design here was, um, let me just pull out my notes here. They talked a lot about aerodynamics, even the wheel design, the way the wind moves through, that's a big thing. They talked about lighter and stronger. So one of the things they talked about was the um, high strength steel. And I had a note about that somewhere and I already, yeah, high strength steel, the bonding processes. So they can make these vehicles lighter and stronger. And the thing with Kia is high strength steel costs a ton of money. But Kia, Hyundai, they own their own steel process the whole way through, so they can put more high-strength steel. So that makes it quieter. They talk a lot about sound insulation in this vehicle. So they said sound insulation is really everywhere, um, and that's going to make it for a real quiet ride, which I'm looking forward to. Because minivans, sometimes some of them were not the best quality things. Um, you know, certain brands, uh, when you say a poor quality vehicle, sometimes certain things pop in your head, and oftentimes it's a minivan. And oftentimes it's another <laughs> brand, which I won't mention. Uh, but I think they're really going after the real quality look. Uh, they mentioned luxury stuff. And there's a lot of luxury in this car as well. We'll show some of that. Uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Now, this is what I want to talk about as we see everything in here. Just my general observation. Kia logo on the steering wheel. Of course, we've never seen that in any vehicle. We've got a 12 and a quarter inch screen available on the top trim level in the dash. Now, that's not uncommon. We have that. You guys can't see off screen here. We have a Sorento. We have that in the Kia Sorento in Canada on the SX model. Now, what's interesting is we used to only go 10 and a quarter inch screen over here. Now we've got the same 12 and a quarter inch screen here. So here it looks much bigger than there. Maybe uh, they are sort of spaced out. One is further back, but you've got 12.3 inch screen here and a 12.3 inch screen here. It has the multiple users. That's a big thing that I've been a big fan of. Um, in something like the Kia Seltos, you can just change the way this radio looks and your radio presets and those kind of things. In the K5, it does some interesting things. It changes your climate system. It changes, uh, like I said, radio presets. It can change your seat in the power seat. So that's kind of a cool system. We'll see how much of that choosing your own user base will allow you to um, customize this car for yourself. But a minivan is a very common vehicle. Again, a life utility vehicle. I guess I'm supposed to call it that. It's a minivan, guys. Minivan is a common vehicle to have shared drivers. So this is a feature I'm really looking forward to exploring into when it shows up. Down here, we've got the dual zone automatic climate control in this particular model. Some people were thinking we might have the dial style shifter. We do not. We have the regular style shifter. Um, multiple uh, phones can be paired to this device. So if your child in the back or teenager in the back or whatever it is in the back, wants to pair their Bluetooth or their phone or something for just the music. You can have the driver paired for their cell phone and for their audio of their cell phone. So let's say their music on their cell phone. And you can have a second passenger also paired for just their music. So you could let your kid play just their music. You have things like the um, the rear um, passenger talk. So when you're, you're basically, you can hit a button here and you can talk to the speakers in the back of your car. You can put it on quiet mode, let your kids sleep. Uh, so lots to talk about there, lots to learn about. And if you guys have questions, just start asking them. Go ahead. Don't worry about interrupting me. I will jump back to them. Really uh, cool character lines here. One cool thing, I don't know if they're going to show it. You can hold a button on the remote and pop open all the doors. These would be power sliding doors on most trim levels and the power um, raising tailgate. So we've seen sort of that power raising tailgate before. It's called a smart tailgate. Uh, you can just approach it and it will open. It has that. It also seems to have now a smart close feature. So basically you stand behind the vehicle. You don't wave your feet underneath the vehicle. The tailgate can open on its own and then you uh, walk away from it and the tailgate can close on its own. So I'm looking forward to see how well that works. Um, I think it's a pretty exciting thing. It's something I think people have been asking for. And again, the ability to hold the button on the remote and slide the doors. There was a remote picture in here. So we'll see if we can find that. Really cool lighting, really cool lighting. And you saw that dual sunroof there. I don't know if they both open. On the previous minivan, they did, I believe. And um, so there's that tailgate that we talked about. 
We're going to show you some of these features in a second here. Hey, that is in the uh, Toronto area. So this Michael Kopke is still talking. So there's a dual uh, sunroof there. I'll find out if that opens. I'm not sure if it does on the backside. Um, it did in a previous minivan. It'd be super cool if it did. It felt like a real convertible in there. So uh, kind of a cool system there. You can see sort of it rolled by. Now that is the, what they call Martian brown leather. And uh, these full reclined seats, I, I, forgive me, I forgot off the top of my head the name of these seats. Um, but these are these power reclining type seats, which adds a lot of luxury. So you have the recliner, the headrest can also move. That's going to be available on at least the SX trim. Um, and you really have a recliner type seat in that middle row, which is pretty cool for a road trip. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, let's just keep rolling through here. We'll, I'll tell you about what I see. I think I skipped ahead a little bit. There's those power opening doors. That center armrest, oh, that's not center armrest. There is a center armrest in the other trim levels, which we're going to talk about in a second. And again, some of the same views here. It makes more sense when you listen to them talk. There we go. That's a camera. That's in the front grill. That surround view camera is going to be really good. And that's a nice, uh, that's available on the top uh, higher trims as well. So that is that 360 kind of bird's eye view kind of camera that makes it really easy to drive a little bit taller vehicle. So if you've got kids around, that kind of thing, put them in reverse. You're going to have a bird's eye view camera. This camera works out front to do that, um, to give you that sort of safety when you're driving around. So it's a nice feature to look for. We have it on some of our other vehicles, but uh, I think it's needed in the minivan uh, in the Carnival. That's what they're calling it. So LED lighting, sort of uh, similar, you know, to the Sorento. I think there's some family lines there. Uh, cool design lines is what they're talking about right here. I would skip ahead, but I don't want to miss anything. Wheel arches there. Again, just an SUV look. They're going to really promote that SUV look. This is kind of reminiscent of my Kia Soul EV wheels. So that is the B, uh, C pillar, I believe it's called. One of the pillars down the side by the window. Gives it a bit of an SUV type look as well. So you'll see that. And that in that detailing there is carried here. And I have an internet issue. So it is bogging down. Oh, we're good. Nope, we're not good. This will be fun if it doesn't work. Uh, okay, let's skip ahead. This might be our issue here. Let's try to skip ahead. Ah, oh, we're good. We skipped ahead. Okay, so again, more interior stuff here. Uh, exterior mirrors that fold in. You guys asked if the power mirrors fold in. They will fold in on at least some trim levels. There's your gear shift. Same thing as the Telluride. Uh, there's your digital dash, Sport Eco. It's, I'm not sure if that was the same dash, but uh, it looks like it was. So that's the interesting drive mode there. Okay. Power closing tailgate. We're going to stop this in a second here. Signal lights down low. You guys sometimes like that, sometimes you don't. I think it's perfectly fine. I think it makes it classy with the rear lights the way they are. All right, there's those tail lights. They're really going to uh, point out some of this lighting details. And see how that pillar there wraps right around. You're going to have some real width to this vehicle. And again, I think a pretty SUV-like look. My Wi-Fi is bogging in and out. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like Toronto Motorsports Park in Cayuga. Yeah, that doesn't look like where it is. All right, so we're going to stay with the Wi-Fi. Tilt and slide function available on front sunroof, slide function available on rear sunroof. There we go. So you guys you guys uh, are telling me that in your market, you have the sliding rear sunroof, which is the opening rear sunroof, which is what I would expect here then. Uh, um, roof rails are very similar to the um, Celtos with a little hanging piece off the back there. So a similar design. Uh, super helpful for the intent of this vehicle. If you're going to go vacationing in this vehicle, you put a roof rack, roof box, whatever you need up there. Cargo space is another big thing they're talking about. So we're going to see if we can skip ahead to that part of the video as we skip by the lighting. Again, all of this lighting, I'm going to do a lighting video when we have the car in stock. And we'll talk about some of that. Oh, there was one thing I want to talk about. I don't know if you can see it here, but the wiper comes out of the top um, spoiler here. They do that on the Sorento. Two big advantages to that. One, it just looks cleaner. But two, the ice and snow sit on that wiper when it's down here. And of course, we've all had to pull those wipers off the cars here. Now you're going to have it hidden up where the ice and snow doesn't sit. Just a way better spot for the wiper. And they put it on the Carnival, which makes me super happy. Because that's some of the, one of those simple little design things they did on the Sorento, which is really smart. Headlighting, they're really proud of the look of this car. And I think that's a big feature of it. Uh, people don't want to drive a boring minivan. They want to drive something cool looking. Who cares what you call it, as long as it looks cool. All right, product planning. We're going to skip a little bit ahead in this video to... I think he's going to show us what I'm looking for is a key fob is actually shown here. And you guys always like to see the key fob. So I don't want to go too, too far ahead. 3,500 pounds towing. We know about that. Um, so same towing capacity as we had before. Eight speed automatic transmission. I don't believe it's a dual clutch. So it's a tr uh, traditional transmission there. You can take a good size camping trailer with that. So um, you can not just utility type trailer. You can take a camping trailer. I am going to skip ahead a little bit here, guys. Bear with me. And we'll try to get through to the end. We're skipping, we're only about halfway through here, but we're gonna skip past some of this stuff. 
there we go. There's the inside. Let's just go back to here. We'll watch some of that inside stuff. Bear with me, guys. Like I said, I saw this video once before I went live with you guys, and I'm just trying to recapture everything with you guys. Single lights there, same thing. We're going to skip ahead to the interior here. Seats that move and separate, looks like. Uh, you've got good space in there. There's your climate control system. This one does have the... Um, Hit the heating grid on the windshield. Now, this may not be a Canadian model, maybe a pre-production model, but what I'm seeing there is that favorite heat, that tungsten element in the in the windshield. I do see that button there, so that makes it interesting. It may have that. Uh, we'll find out if that comes to production or if this was a pre-production video or a vehicle they used for filming. Uh, design details, thin vents. There's a center seat that does some cool things in here. We talk about that. Perforated leather, which looks pretty cool. Different style of perforation in the two different types of leather. Um, this is that Martian Brown, they're calling it, which I think is an interesting name, certainly current. Uh, however, a little different. Uh, I like the color. I don't, uh, I don't dislike it at all. All right, let's see. There we go. Gear shift. What are we showing here? There we go. Some of the seating arrangements. These are the higher end seats. Look at the cargo capacity in here. They're going to talk a little bit about this right here. There's the remote there. You hold that button and all the doors open. So that's pretty cool system right there. Um, we're going to let it load up there and they're going to show you more cargo capacity as we go through again when, when this vehicle comes out we're going to show you more and more seven and eight passengers powered uh, these are powered seats when we have the higher end seats in the second row and of course you can recline them you can move them around um, in that top trim level so this is pretty cool what they're doing here the center seat you can see the seat belt is built into the seat you can move it way back or you can move it way forward so you can help your child who's in that seat with the car seat in there Fold it down, and you've got a little table type thing, cup holders, which again, when you move it way back, your rear seats have the cup holders right there, a couple pair on the outside. So really smart center seat design uh, in the vehicle here. And again, full, take the middle seats, come out completely, put the rear seats into the floor, and you've got massive cargo, including being able to fit a 4x8 sheet of plywood, which you're going to see here. A lot of sub change in there. There's a 4x8 sheet of plywood. You guys always ask about this. Does it fit? You bet it does. Easily. No problem. So... I don't have to buy a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood because Kia Canada bought one for me. And uh, I'll just refer to this video every time. All right. Keep coming through here. There's a couple other things I want to show you. Those are the powered seats right there when you get those Martian uh, brown heated and ventilated centers, uh, these seats, with the Lazy Boy style. I'm not allowed to call it Lazy Boy, I'm sure. Uh, but that is that recliner style uh, seat there. And, uh, yeah, very cool system there. All right. Will we have the 11 seater as well? We will not. So we're gonna skip ahead there. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, wireless. So they are showing up plugging in. Um, some of our larger screens do require to be plugged in right now, uh, but we are expecting this one to be wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay uh, and everything. There's that multiple user mode where you can switch the profile. Wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So there you go, it's right from Kia. Wireless smartphone charging, we know about that. So this is the stuff I wanted to get into. Multi Bluetooth connectivity, that's the multiple people two USB ports, or sorry, nine USB ports, two inverters, that's two regular plugs, Bose audio is available. The USB ports are in the back of the seat, just like the Telluride and the Sorento. Uh, we're having a skipping out issue here. So, let's skip ahead again. Uvo Intelligence, we know about that. And, all right, we're skipping ahead there. Let's see if this works. All right. Yeah, there's Michael Kopke again, doing a great job. He told us a whole bunch of little stuff. And what I love is when they introduce the vehicle and then I get to dig into it. So that's what's going on here. Uh, you can see just they're showing lots of families happy because that's what you're going to be in this car. Uh, and that's the nice feature there. When you walk away from that smart tailgate, it's going to close on its own. So, And the nice thing is when you think about it practically, when you take your stuff out of the trunk of your car, your hands are full. Well, now you got to reach up and touch that button. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You have the ability to have that automatically close. So driver attention warning, lane keep and lane follow assist, uh, high beam assist, all these safety features we're looking for, parking distance warning, which is kind of nice, forward collision avoidance assist, rear occupant alert, which can see the rear occupants in the vehicle. Uh, so pretty cool there. And there's that 360 camera we talked about. So that was one of um, uh, Mr. Kopke's favorite features he pointed out. And I fully agree with him. On a little bit taller vehicle, that's especially nice to have. Uh, lane, uh, ooh, the signal with the lane thing. Ooh, man, am I a mind slipping here to get the names quickly? There's your smart cruise control. Uh, can adjust the speed, can slow down and speed up based on um, all kinds of factors. So highway drive assist is in this vehicle and the certain trim levels anyways. So you're having all that stuff in there and you can see the lane follow assist button on the wheel. Uh, there's your uh, nice big navigation. Again, 12.3 inch screen. So you're gonna have a big, big screen for this uh, 
navigation. And that is basically it. So guys, let's take some questions here. What I want to know is what do you see that you like? What do you see that you want to know more about? Because we're going to have this vehicle soon and I'm looking forward to talking to you about it. So let me just run through the questions here. In Kia, okay, in Canada, you're doubting this kind of thing. Oops, let me just get my cursor back over to my main screen here. I have lost my cursor. There we go. Coming over. It doesn't like me. There we go. I think, there we go. Got my cursor back. All right. What trim levels get power sliding side doors and adaptive cruise control? So let's just check that out real quickly. It's really a specific question. We'll try to stay away from some of the specifics, but I will find that out for you. Um, I assume it'll be on the website very soon. Power folding mirrors is on the EX. Smart key, push button, heat front. Power sliding doors is on the LX Plus. And then you said smart cruise control as well. So I believe that is going to be at least the EX model. Sliding door. Oh, the sliding door spot lamp is another thing. When the sliding door opens, there's a little spot lamp down there. Uh, so it has a little sort of what I used to call puddle lamps. I don't know if we're allowed to call that. That might be a brand name. But when you open the sliding door, there is that. Uh, what kind? What trim does the Smart Cruise come in? I feel like it is. Oh man, I felt like it was the EX. I'm not 100% sure. Just at a glance here, I will tell you the 12.3 inch screen. So the dual 12.3 inch screens, um, navigation and uh, instrument cluster that comes in the EX Plus level. So you don't have to go right up to the SX to get there. You can go one step down. Uh, but that's 45.295 for that one. Uh, LED taillights jump in at the EX level, so uh, regular stuff. Roof rack is not on the LX, but it is on the LX Plus. Um, da -da -da -da. Let me take a few more of your questions here. I will answer some of the keys. You should definitely make a Nightfall Night Sky edition. Well, there are black wheels here, so Nightfall Night Sky, black wheels. Maybe that's kind of what you're looking for in this kind of thing. Um, okay, let me see what we got here. Middle seat is a new dinner table for these times. Yeah, that's right. Why no all-wheel drive? Don't know. Probably because we have the Telluride at the same price point. Uh, and there is a differentiation there. Uh, the platform probably also doesn't really fold those seats well down the same way with all-wheel drive. Tilt the slide function. Oh, we're talking about the money, uh, the center there. Uh, what else we got here? I think that's it. What do you guys think about the new name? Carnival, do you like it? Again, not really that much of a new name. It's new to uh, Canada and the US. They've gone away from Sedona. It's been always called Carnival across the country. Uh, across the world, excuse me, just North America that is not. So again, here's what's going on right now. This car is coming. I'm hoping I can earn your subscription because we are going to fill you up with details on this. Let's just finish with pricing again one more time. And then I'm going to give you a link, which is, let me just tell you what it is right now, Virtual Auto Show. So it's the, if you want to write it down right now, kiavirtualautoshow.ca. That's kiavirtualautoshow.ca. If you go there, you can watch this reveal video. You can do all kinds of interactive stuff with our current lineup. I assume they will add this in. There is another reveal coming at the auto show. Now, I was not supposed to say this was the carnival. I'm probably not supposed to say that if I had to assume, the new Stinger would also be a reveal. That's going to come up in March. We'll do the same type of thing then. Um, but anyways, if you want to go to it, I have it linked in the description if you're not watching live with us. kiavirtualautoshow.ca. Go there. Check it all out. There's prizes and other stuff you can do. Uh, you can just register for some of those things. And if you're interested in checking out a vehicle, we're hoping to earn your business here at Brantford Kia. If you want one of these vans, uh, if you're just positive that what you see is enough and you want to put a reservation down, we have some coming in already. We've already ordered some. You could make that vehicle yours already. You could order exactly what you want. Uh, they are coming in. So we could probably get you a VIN number very quickly. And as they arrive, it will be a sold unit for you when the day it arrives. Uh, I'm going to beg you to do a video of it before you take it, but we can we can place your orders on these today. You have pricing, you have the video. Uh, we can sell it, I'm sure, pending a test drive, uh, if that was your condition. That's all sales team, team stuff, so they can talk to you. So go to our website, brandfordkia.ca. Um, connect with our sales team. Go to the Contact Us page, connect with our sales team. If you want to see this, drive this, just tell them you want to get on the list to test drive this vehicle. So brandfordkia.ca. I want to test drive this vehicle. Go to the contact us. If you tell our sales team that, uh, they'll be able to handle you. If you already want to order one before it even arrives, you can do that. You can do that today. Uh, we can take care of you that way. We've done this a number of times with uh, electric vehicles, especially. We've ordered them before they've arrived. Uh, so we have a process for that to make you feel very comfortable. We can handle it either way. You just have to connect with our sales team. And again, connect with Kia Canada as well. Kia.ca is their website. Uh, virtualautoshow.ca is the virtual auto show, which is pretty cool. It's got some cool interactivity. And I will say, when you go to that site 
It can be a little bit slow loading, but it's worth the wait. So um, bear with it that way. And I think we're going to leave it there, guys. Uh, it's going to see if there's any questions that I really have to jump on. If not, fill the comment section after this video with your questions about this vehicle. If I don't have an answer for you, I want to know what you want to know. So when we make our videos on this vehicle, we're filling you with all the stuff that you guys want to know. Thanks, everybody, for watching. i got to jump around to that camera and hit stop. We are live again tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I uh, haven't got an official plan. I got some unofficial stuff, but we're going to confirm that up overnight uh, tomorrow morning. And we'll tell you what we're going to do live at 2 o'clock. We hope to see you there. Thanks, everybody, for watching.